This short video will demonstrate how the StealthWatch solution will help detect zero-day malware propagating within the network. With the perimeter of the network vanishing, it is possible for malware to enter the network through many avenues, such as a mobile broadband card, a laptop getting infected while it's out of the office and plugs back in, a user opening an attachment in an email from a phishing scheme, or a user clicking on a link in a website. Let's walk through a real use case that has occurred. A company deployed mobile broadband devices for their traveling employees with laptops. They also run VNC for desktop management on all their endpoints. A machine running a vulnerable version of VNC is infected through the broadband network and the malware begins to propagate laterally inside the network. Let's walk through the event. 10.201.3.50 gets infected with malware through the broadband connection. 10.201.3.83 is infected by 3.50. Now that the malware is on the machine and has entered the organization, it begins to propagate to other hosts within the network. To help illustrate how StealthWatch will detect malware propagating within the network, we'll use a dashboard focused on the malware propagation events. The graph illustrates any malware propagation events that have occurred over time within the network. The top malware host illustrates the concern index report to identify any host within the network that has changed in behavior and has become suspicious. The host audit report allows for visibility into any host in the network. You can focus on any host that has accrued concern index points and begin to see details around the security events that are starting to trigger, along with the services the machines are running. Within this list, we see many hosts running VNC and are also triggering address scan TCP and worm propagation events. We will click on 10.201.3.50 to gain more details. The Security Events tab illustrates scanning on TCP port 5900 targeting internal subnets. TCP port 5900 is used for VNC. We also see security events have triggered for things such as maximum number of flows initiated by this host and scanner talking, indicating that the host has scanned the network and has successfully connected to other hosts. Going back to the internal spreading malware dashboard and focusing on the propagation tracker, will automatically visualize host involved in a propagation event. It will illustrate the first host infected along with other hosts the malware propagated to. See that 10.201.3.83 was infected and began scanning 12 subnets and connected to 14 hosts. Moving to the Details tab, we see a worm propagation event has triggered. This indicates a host has scanned multiple subnets and connected to host on a port that is being scanned, and this host in turn starts to scan and connect to other hosts. The Details section will define the target port the malware is propagating over, such as VNC in this example. Mitigation may be enabled as an action when the security events trigger. This action will send a block back to a firewall, router, IPS, or Cisco Identity Services engine to remediate the threat. This action can be set to automatically send the action when the event triggers, or put it in Authorize mode, which prompts to press this big red button within the alarm table, as illustrated here. To pull back associated flows around any alarm, simply highlight the alarm record of interest and click the Associated Flows button to view additional details. This displays complete flow details behind the event, such as the time the flow started, who was logged onto the machines, and what hosts were connected to, and how much traffic was exchanged. To visualize the flows, you can convert the flow table into a flow visual chart to visualize which hosts are communicating. The bigger the bubble, the more data has been transferred. The y-axis shows clients connecting to servers, whereas the x-axis shows servers being connected to. When you see a solid line, it indicates scanning activity, where the large circle indicates a connection. Hovering over the circle provides details of the connection. Through behavioral profiling provided by StealthWatch, all network activity is accounted for. StealthWatch will understand what hosts are within the network, what services the hosts are running, and how the hosts are connecting with other systems. When malware enters the network through any means, StealthWatch can spot the changes and begin to notify you of the threat so that it can be quickly remediated. It all starts with visibility and establishing a behavioral model of host within the network. 